What's up everyone, welcome back to my top 10 setups of the day series. Before we get started, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more of these amazing setups. We're starting off today's episode with this amazing setup from user Mr. Nova Rex. Starting off with their display, we're looking at a HP X24iH Full HD 144Hz monitor with an attached global link monitor lamp. This monitor is attached to an Amazon Basics monitor arm that gets the monitor up off of the desk and it helps keep the place from feeling too cluttered or small. Beneath the monitor, they're rocking a SteelSeries Rival 600 mouse, a Drevo Calibre V2 keyboard, a pair of HyperX Cloud Alpha headphones and a pair of Logitech Z213 speakers. Inside that PC on the left, you can find a Ryzen 5 2600, a B550M motherboard, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and an RX 590. They've also got an Ernomax Revo Bronze 700 watts, and a deep cool Macoub 110. I really like how this setup is really straightforward, but it just manages to get all of the gear to mesh really well together, and it creates a super cozy and productive workspace. Next up, we've got another pretty simple setup that still looks fantastic, this time from JB. That nice big display is a Samsung 34 inch ultra wide monitor that's mounted to a very clean 4 cabling monitor arm. The monitor also has some amazing backlighting, with the purple and orange lighting coming from some Philips Hughes play bars. Last but not least, the desk all of this gear is sitting on is an IKEA desk that we don't see too often in the form of an Ekbakken worktop. While the tech in this setup is very simple, the amazing backlighting around the monitor is a nice touch that really elevates the setup. For our next setup, we've got a PC and PlayStation 5 combo build from JMCG1888. This semi-neon setup features a 32 inch curved Samsung monitor with a sweet vaporwave wallpaper that matches very nicely with the purple RGB behind the monitor. For their peripherals, you can see a set of Razer Nomo speakers, as well as a Logitech mouse. Of course, they also have their PS5 and matching controller to the left of the monitor for easy access. Once again, this is a bit of a simpler build, but it also has a lot of character and some fun decorations. The next setup on this list comes to us from Richard Still 002, and it's a bit more complex than our last few, and it features a lot of amazing custom pieces. The OP stated that they've recently got into woodworking and custom made this stunning L-shaped desk, as well as those sweet shelves and lamps. We've got our first double monitor setup on this list, and it features a 27 inch LG 27GL83AB monitor on the bottom. On the desk you'll also notice that nice large SteelSeries mouse pad, as well as the OP's PC on the right, which uses a Lian Lee O11 case. Lastly, this setup is also using a super comfortable Staples Hiken chair. At our number 6 spot we've got this brand new setup from user Rory Balcott. That gorgeous desk is a dark walnut Wilson art worktop that beautifully fills out this room. On the desk you'll notice an LG 34UC98 34 inch curved display, a form gut felt desk mat, a Logitech MX Master mouse, a Havit keyboard and a pair of Bose companion free speakers. The setup really shines when it comes to decorations with that amazing pegboard and hanging plants, even down to the nice dark colour of the walls that matches nicely with the dark wood of the desk. Marking the halfway point in our list, we've got this sweet cyberpunk setup from Frothit X. The best part of this setup is easily that amazing desk that includes some of the best RGB that I've ever seen by having it literally built inside of the desk. Speaking of the amazing RGB, their one monitor is not only mounted extremely well, but it also has some stunning backlighting that gives the monitor a really cool floating appearance. Below the monitor, you can also spot a Logitech mouse that's sitting on a large Playmax mouse pad. Up next is this work from home and video editing setup from Lowell's. First and foremost, we've got that slick and comfortable looking chair, which is the Herman Miller Mira 2. Behind it, you can also notice a nice large 34 inch Samsung monitor. Whilst the tech that we see in this setup is nice enough, the build looks as amazing as it does because of the amazing decor. The nano leaf lights are a super nice touch that are arranged in a very unique position and with a very unique color pattern. The wall decor also adds a lot of variety to the build whilst not making it too busy or cluttered. Next up is this chill and lofi setup from Famous Success. The gorgeous lightwood desk is an AC3 DB160 desk that provides a good amount of space without taking up too much room in the bedroom. On the desk is a nice gaming setup with a single large mounted monitor floating above a variety of nice peripherals including a Corsair mouse. 
The lighting in this setup is what really sells it, and the variety of LED backlighting and neon signs give the room a really appealing glow and it makes the room super cosy. This next setup from The Realist Feel is an amazing vaporwave build that feels super futuristic yet retro at the same time. Clearly the lamp in this setup, a 64 inch sci-fi lamp, completely steals the show and it provides a super unique blue and pink lighting. Below this stunning lamp you can spot a Razer mouse and a Razer keyboard that adds to the RGB in this build. My only real critique about this setup is that I wish the art on the wall matched more with the lighting and the gear, but other than that this is an overall fantastic build. Last but certainly not least is this amazing his and hers office from G Whizzler. This showstopper of the setup is that amazing astronaut neon sign from neon.co.uk that really completes this whole setup and it matches nicely with the decorative wallpaper. On the desk below the sign we're looking at a pair of AOC monitors with some smart wallpapers that completes the pattern behind them. The decoration in this setup is absolutely top tier and it really helps elevate this build above most of the ones that we see and I couldn't be more of a fan of it to be honest. And that is the end of the list. Check out a description for a list of a lot of the gear that I've mentioned in the video. If you want to see more of these incredible setups, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss the next episode. Leave a comment down below on which setup you think should have been number one.